How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to reset the Kindle Paperwhite back to the factory settings. What you're going to do is go up to menu and then go to settings. And once you're in settings, go to menu again and then go to reset device. And it, it will give you a warning. This action will remove all your downloaded or transferred content from your Kindle. You will still be able to download items from the cloud. Do you want to reset your Kindle? Yes. So from there, it will walk through a process of uh, resetting, which can take anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 or 10 minutes, depending on how many things you have downloaded on there. It's a fairly quick process, and when it's finished, the Kindle will look the way it did when you first purchased it. So you just want to uh, follow those steps and then wait. And uh, after a couple of minutes, you will be back on the, the brand new screen where you'll see it is reset to brand new. So we will wait. Oh, and it's doing a, that's a little reset there. Don't be afraid if it flashes. All part of the process. Also, excuse my voice. I uh, lost my voice a couple of days ago just getting it back. But I had to make sure to keep the videos going on this device here. So. That's why I sound a little weird in case you guys are wondering. And we shall wait to see what it looks like. Just so we'll know we fully reached the factory reset stage. Check out our other videos. We do have some videos on the paper white for beginners. We've also just uh, uploaded a pros and cons. Worth it or waste. You can kind of get a feel for um you know what our impression of it was and if it was worth it to buy or not and this is it this shows you that you have successfully reset it back to factory settings because it will be asking you to choose a language hope you guys found this helpful make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful check out our new website www.h2techvideos.com for just a new awesome look at some new products as well thanks for watching and subscribe as well if you're not already subscribed and have a good one